Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Career 5 Module 3 Lesson 3 homework. So let's get started. Number one, draw a rectangular fraction model to find the sum. Simplify your answer if possible. All right, A, we have one fourth plus one third. So first we're gonna draw that out. So one fourth. Draw a little. You're gonna first make the first one um vertical. So split into fourths and shade in one fourth. Plus, because we're doing addition, one third, this time we're actually gonna make this um horizontal, split into thirds and shade in. Actually, I guess you could do bottom or top. Shade in one third. So now we notice um, the bottom number, I think the denominator, they're different. So we have to make them the same. And the common um, multiple here, 12, we have um, convert them into 12s. So basically, 1 fourth, you're going to multiply that by 3. So it's you split into 3. And that one third, we split it into four more sections. So then that'll give us three shaded out of 12 plus four shaded out of 12. Think about it, it's one fourth times three because one times three is three and four times three is 12 plus one third times four because it needs three needs to be multiplied by four to get to 12, which will give four over 12. And 3 plus 4 is 7 over 12. So that's our answer. And that's our answer because we can't simplify it any further because 7 is a prime number. Right okay, now B, 1 fourth plus 1 fifth. All right. So fourths. One fourth plus a fifth. Okay, so one fifth. So now we look at the fourths and we draw five more sections. Like one, two, three, four. And at the fifths, we draw, we split into four more. So now we have one, two, three, four, five out of five, 10, 15, 20, plus one, two, three, four out of 20. And that'll give us 9, 20, which can't be simplified any further. Now for C, we have 1 fourth plus 1 six. So first we draw a fourth. Plus 1 six. So one six. And now we split it. So at one fourth we make it into six. Now one six we divide it into four. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six out of twenty-four plus four out of twenty-four, which will give us ten out of twenty-four. And 10 out of 24, we can simplify that. So 10 out of 24. Now they both go into two. So we divide by two. That'll give us five over 12. And five is a prime number, so it can't be simplified more. So this is our simplified answer. All right, D, one fifth plus one nine. Okay, one fifth plus ninths. Okay. Two, three. Oh my god. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So one ninth. Divide this part into ninths. And this part into fifths. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, out of 45, plus one, two, three, four, five out of 45, which will give us 14 over 45. All right, next page. E, one fourth plus two fifths. All right, let's see. A fourth plus two fifths. Let's split this into fifths. Split it and shade in two. So it's um draw more boxes basically. So this part divide into fifths. This part divide into fourths. So now we have Five out of twenty plus eight out of twenty, which will give us thirteen over twenty. Now F we have three fifths plus three sevenths. Sevenths. Now we split apart. Two, three. All right. So now three fifths times seven. Oh. So now we have twenty-one over thirty-five plus three seventh times 5 is 15 over 35. So give us 36 out of 35. We write it as a mixed number. 35 out of 35 is a whole, but we have more than that. So we have 1 and 1 35th. Alright, next. Solve the following problems. Draw a picture and write the number sentence that proves the answer. Simplify your answer if possible. All right, let's see. Two, number two. We just jogged three-fourths mile and then walked one-sixth mile to cool down. How far did he travel? All right. Three over four plus one over six. First, we can do it vertically. Three-fourths. Plus one six. Now draw it. The one, the six on here. One, two, three, four, five, and the fourths. So that leaves us with three fourths times six is eighteen over twenty four. Plus one six times four is four out of twenty four. 18 plus 4 is 22 out of 24. And we can simplify that. Let's divide by 2 first. Well, it's 11 over 12. So 11 over 12 would be the simplified version. That means Rajesh. All right, number three, Cynthia completed two thirds of the items on her to-do list in the morning and finished one eighth of the items during her lunch break. What fraction of her to-do list is finished by the end of her lunch break? 
extension, what fraction of her to-do list does she still need to finish, basically? So she did two-thirds plus one-eighth. First, we have two-thirds plus one-eighth. Now split this part into eighths, and this part into thirds. Two thirds times eight, we have 16 over 24, plus one eight times three is three over 24. Which gives us 19 over 24 that she completed. That means, and then the lunch break, Cynthia finished. 19 over 24 of the items. But how much, did, how many, what fraction does she still need to do? Well, a whole, the complete version is 24 over 24. So we subtract 19 over 24. That gives us 5 over 24. That means she needs to finish five-fourths of the items. <coughs> All right, number four. Sam read two-fifths of her book over the weekend and one-sixth of it on Monday. What fraction of the book has she read? What fraction of the book is left? Two-fifths plus one-sixth. Two-fifths plus one-six. Now split this into six. So now two-fifths times um, six, we have 12 over 30. Plus one-six times five is five over 30, which gives us 17 of th over 30. So that means she read 17 over 30 of it. And needs to read. See, so a whole is 30 over 30. So 30 minus 17 equals 13. So she needs to read 13 over 30. Of it still. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!